Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a mosaic video in Final Cut Pro. First thing you want to do is shoot your footage. I've already shot it, but it's important to keep in mind when you're shooting the footage that you want to get to about one and a half to two minutes of footage of a really active scene. So something with a lot of action in all of the frame if possible. And you want to keep your camera locked off so it doesn't move at all when you're shooting it. So I'm going to drag my clip down here to the timeline. Um, if it ever asks you to change the sequence settings to match the clip settings, click yes, because we shot this in HD and we want to make sure that we're working in HD and we're going to output in HD as well. Um, so you can see here this red line means it needs to render. We'll do that later. There's going to be a, a lot of rendering in this project. Um, down here I have a, one video track and two audio tracks. I don't need any audio for this project. As a matter of fact, I need more space allotted to my video tracks. So if you hold down Option and click your audio, you can delete that without deleting the video. And then just drag this down and I have more space here because I'm eventually going to have nine layers of my video. So let me zoom out a little bit and look at this full clip. Um, it's uh, of a busy intersection. There will be a lot of movement in this clip. So first thing I want to do is sometimes right when you're hitting record, the very beginning of your footage can be a little shaky. Uh, same thing at the very end. So I'm just going to trim off, a, I don't know, doesn't look too jumpy, but I'm going to trim off a second at the beginning and a second or two at the end uh, to make sure that I don't have a shaky camera at the beginning and end. So I'm going to cut this clip into nine even segments. I've found they don't have to be exactly even, so you can just eyeball it. The easiest way I've found is to cut it into thirds and then cut each of those thirds into thirds. And when you're done cutting with the blade tool, you will have nine segments. Um, so let's take a look at this first section. I'm going to play it. Um, there's a little bit of action going on over here in this part of the video. So I think I'm going to make this clip right here. I'm going to keep this middle right part of the video. So if I double click the video to select it, it shows up here in my viewer window. It's very important that my playhead is on top of that clip too. So when I make changes in the viewer window, I'll be able to see what's happening here in the canvas window. So with the clip selected, I go to my Motion tab and expand my Crop menu. This is where all the magic is going to happen. So I want to crop the left side of the video two-thirds. I can use a slider bar and slide it around there. And lo and behold, I did it right at two-thirds, 66%. It's actually 66.6666%, but we're just going to round down. Um, and I want to crop the top and the bottom of the video, just a third though. So I'm just going to enter the values here, 33% of the top, 33% for the bottom. And that crops away everything except this one tile. When I'm done, I'm going to have nine even-sized tiles. I'm going to make that up. So let's look at my next clip. Um, there's a lot of action over here. So. I'm going to select it to load it into my viewer window, make sure my playhead is on top of that clip so I can see what's going on, going on over here. And I'm going to go to Motion, Crop, but this time I want to crop the right side of my video uh, roughly two-thirds and the top by a third and, I'm just gonna 33, and the bottom by a third. So now I have that tile and this tile made. So I'm going to go ahead and use my move tool and just stack them on top of each other. And you can see now I have two of my nine tiles made. So then I can select this one. What's going on? There's a lot of action um, in the middle here. So I'll select that one. Motion. Crop. I'm going to do 33% from the left. 33% from the right, 33% from the top, 33% from the bottom, and now I'll have my middle tile. Stack it up and drag it out to make sure they're all evenly sized. 
So now I have three of my nine tiles, a third of the way done. Um, I'm going to jam through these uh, and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch. So when you're done, you'll have nine even tiles, uh, and you'll see here I have nine layers of video, and each clip on each layer is the same video, just a different section in time. So it looks pretty cool when you have the whole thing here. Um, so it's going to take a long time to render this, I won't make you sit through the render time, but when you're done, you can... Um, export it to the appropriate folder. Be sure to export it as a QuickTime movie. So you just want to go File, Export, QuickTime Movie. Um, you're going to use the current settings. You don't really need to do audio and video. You could do video only. Um, give it a title, put it in the appropriate folder, and hit Save. And you are done. I hope you enjoyed.